so in this chapter uh, we have seen classes and objects. Classes um, are general definitions of things and objects are particular representations of um, something. Um, every uh, class uh, can create uh, as many objects as uh, we wish and there are methods that uh, when uh, invoked on an object they basically communicate with the object and they can give information about the object or change the values stored in the object and these values have types and all the values together are uh, uh, called the object state uh, every um, Every value is stored in an object in a field which has also um, a type, a data type, and uh, every method uh, has um, the possibility to uh, have a, a, retur a return value, uh, a result value or not. Um, then the various terms that uh, were introduced are the object, which are uh, the, um, the uh, the parts of um, the world we are trying to uh, represent um, in a specific model and the class which creates these objects is another term um, and classes um, um, classes have a, d a definition um, which gives the, the methods and the fields of an object. So it specifies the behavior and uh, the behavior so we have methods and field the behavior and basically the, the state of the objects that can be created and hmm, uh, th there is the state which is the um, all the values that um, an object can store and uh, these values ha have all a type also parameters which are um, additional information that can be provided to uh, particular methods uh, to to uh, give some more information um, then uh, yeah.
th there is the signature which specifies like the return return type and um, the parameters and types of the parameters and the method name um, then okay methods can have um, result value that uh, return value and um, okay there are many data types and this can be found on uh, on um, any uh, Java language manual manual and and uh, the source code is not a uh, is not a uh, word that was introduced and uh, the source code is um, the um, is part of text that uh, specifies um, specifies how the the the, the class should behave. Yes. Okay. Uh, exercise. Okay. I need to look at the values um, so zero is of type int hello is of type string with uh, double quotes then hundred ones of type int minus one int true boolean thirty three string and three point one four one five it's float okay what would you have to do to add a new field for example one called name to a circle object well mm, to add a new field mm, I have to write uh, at the top of the class in the source code uh, private then add uh, the type that the name should be so for I think for name it can be string and then I put the name name the name of the field Yes, I'm not really sure about it. But okay, um, signature for a method named send that has one parameter type string and does not return a value. 
So does not return a value. Uh, it should be void. Um, then the name is send, and it has one parameter, type string. Uh, I have it. I have to call it somehow. Uh, say x and then semicolon. Okay. Uh, instead, a signature for a met name average that has two parameters, both of type int, and returns an int value. Mm, okay, the return type is int. The name is average the name of this method okay and two parameters both of type int so I can put int y comma int z semicolon and look at the book you are reading right now is it an object or a class? Um, I have to ask some questions about the book. So, uh, I can ask... Okay, and if I can answer these questions, then it is an object. Um, I can ask, is it a Java book, is it a Python book, mm. does it contain exercises, uh, is it big or small uh, so yes I can answer this question for example uh, yes it's a Java book it's relatively big so I would say it is an object and its class would be book because there are many there can be many instances of books which can have di uh, can teach different programming language which can have a different um, typography different graphics yes so its class can be book and can an object have several different classes no, because um, uh, basically um, the the class uh, represent objects of a particular kind. So the, all these objects have to be of of this same kind and it cannot yes it has to belong to one particular class if I want an object to have another class maybe like in the, in the project in, in the uh, home project uh, there is picture that uh, has uh, the class picture has a field that requires a value of type object and so it 
can communicate with that object but to call it to call picture a class of an instance of a triangle of a triangle for example maybe it's possible but but I'm not sure.